Hey guys, so at the Sevier County Fair this weekend, the big trucks had rolled into town. Channel, you're the guy that brought them here. Tell us a little bit about who you guys are and, and what you guys do on a weekend. We come into a town with monster trucks. We try to, we like the small venues, kind of staying out of the shadows of the large companies and whatnot, and bringing the trucks to the small town because a lot of people, they, they see the big, the big venues and myself, believe it or not, I don't like these huge crowds. And at the small, smaller venues that we like to do, um, What's so funny about that? I don't like crowds either. But at the, small, at the smaller venues, you can get personal. It's like, you know, it's like today when you go buy stuff and you're a number. And it's, we went back to the, the roots of monster trucks, you know, with the old school, a lot of the old school names and whatnot. And going to the smaller venues and, and people such as yourself, take your microphone and all that stuff away, you can come up and say, hey, tell me about these monster trucks and this and that and other. And with the big venues, you're a number and they don't have time for you a lot of times and here at our venues we try to take time for everybody and, and make everybody feel special and that's kind of what we're hearing from everybody out there right now even from our the reason farmers markets are doing so well is because people want to go back to the basics and back to what they're comfortable with and a smaller venue like this is comfortable you guys have been working on this all weekend tell us a little bit what does it take to prepare for a show this size strangle the motorcycle guys first <laughs> um you come into town, you, you first you pick out your venue and stuff. The lady here, Marlene, has been fantastic. Uh, and, and, and at these smaller towns, the, the, it's the homely, homely or homey atmosphere. And they make you feel like you're one of the family. If we come in. That is homey, not homely. Yeah, <laughs> right. Uh, you feel like you, you belong to one of the family and they, they introduce you to everybody, that everybody wants to help you. And um, we, we do our advertising. We turn around and we, we get quality trucks to come in. We build our tracks um, and we try to put on a good show. And we even stay and we talk to the fans and, and we ask them, well, what did you think of our show? Uh, and, if, and if somebody says, oh, it's okay, we say, well, why is it okay and it's not great? And we, we try to find out what they like to see. Well, we're in between shows right now. Tell me, um, how was the first show and what are you anticipating for the second one? It was a Friday night. You know, Friday nights are notoriously slow at a monster truck show, but you've got to do them. And uh, everybody's trying to get off work, trying to take care of their stuff, their groceries, cash their check, what they need to do. And then here we're coming into town, and we usually try to get to town a week ahead of time. And then right now we're getting everything ready. These guys here are buzzing back and forth. They're with the tough, tough trucks, and it's like they're blowing off steam till tonight. They are oh, blowing up. Or they're working themselves up, you know. For tonight. I, I, I really want to get in a truck. I really would. Maybe I should just go on the road with you. You think you'd take a fine strapping gentleman like me on the road with you to drive one of these trucks? <laughs> That's uh, upset. Uh, yeah. yeah. So you guys are, um, you're here in the Smokies with us this past weekend, and, and you're actually going just nearby, just a couple cities over. Tell us about the next show, where it's going to be, and what the, what it involves. It'll be Huntsville, Alabama. We'll be at a racetrack. We're on the fence right now if we're bringing in tough trucks or if we're going to bring in, uh, bring in motorcycles. We're looking at, uh, we've got monster trucks coming. We'll do racing and we wheelies and freestyle. Okay. Tell us, you got overtime on the on the truck, you got old school on the shirt. What's going on with all this old stuff? I mean, oh, it's over and old, it's not. <laughs> Watch out now. I know I'm an old geezer, but. Uh, no, you already called me out for the gray hair, so I don't want to hear. Well, I got a few <laughs> trickling around the edges here. Overtime is a, is a truck that I used to have back in the old days, and you know, people laugh, but, and uh, it was when Monster Trucks was first getting started. And it now owns my trucks. I have a Tiny Mike truck. I have a GMC called a Little Truck. And I have, uh, we've just bought the USA One truck. It'll be coming out shortly. We're in the process of doing a racing truck. We have Old School Motorsports, which is our promotion company. And then my construction company, which um, builds the tracks. That's kind of cool. So you kind of keep it in the family, yeah, don't we you? Keep, we keep it in the family. It keeps uh, makes my hair turn gray like yours. Uh, so guys, the old school motor motor uh, the old school big truck show. What is it? Old school motorsports big old truck show. Motorsports. Old school motorsports are going to be in Huntsville, Alabama. What dates are those? <sighs> Sorry, I put you on the spot. Put me on the spot. It's uh. The best way to say it, they're going to say, oh, what a dingling he is. It's not next weekend, it's the following weekend. <laughs> Two weeks from now, Huntsville, Alabama, they're coming your way. Uh, got a website for us? Oldschoolmotorsports.com. How easy is that? Oldschoolmotorsports.com. We'll put a link on SmokyMountainMorning.com as well on our Facebook page, so check them out. I, I, I hope you all have a good show tonight. I'm glad I got to meet you all while you're in town, and I look forward for you guys to come back.
We always have a good show. We enjoy us. It's always have a good show. We enjoy putting on a show. We talk with the fans. They seem to really enjoy it. Uh, and uh, we've been blessed to be able to do it. Glad you're, we're glad you're doing it. Glad you're in the Smoky Mountains. We hope you come back soon. Thank you, sir. Thank you. We'll be right back.